This is a practice exercise from page 21 in the textbook. We're looking at using the solubility guidelines from the textbook in order to determine if a compound is soluble or insoluble in water. The first compound we're looking at is cobalt 2 hydroxide. In order to use the solubility chart, we really want to rewrite these names as formulas. So the Roman numeral 2 tells us that cobalt has a charge of 2 positive, so I can write that in, CO2 positive, and you should know that hydroxide is a polyatomic ion with the formula OH and a negative 1 charge. So if I write the formula for cobalt hydroxide, it is COOH2. So my cation is cobalt and my anion is hydroxide. And then I can go to the solubility guidelines and I can try to figure out what pieces of that compound are present in the guidelines. So if I look at the first half of this chart, this tells me about the compounds that do dissolve or are soluble in water. And it gives me a list of anions that are soluble. None of those seem to match. So I look at the next half. This is talking about insoluble compounds, compounds that are not soluble in water. And here I can see that hydroxide is listed as one of the ions that is not soluble in water. The last thing we want to check is to see if there are any exceptions to this rule. So there are exceptions when the ammonium cation is present, when alkali metal cations are present, and when some of my alkaline earth metal cations are present. Since none of those exceptions fits for this problem, that means that this compound is going to be insoluble in water. So we can write that in. This compound is insoluble. Okay, taking a look at the next one. Now we have barium nitrate. Barium has the formula Ba, a two positive charge. Nitrate is another polyatomic ion, NO3, with a negative one charge, which means this formula is BaNO32. Again, we want to take a look for the anion. So specifically, we're going to take a look for nitrate, and we should find nitrate right here in the chart, and we see that there are no exceptions. All nitrate salts are soluble. That's a really good thing to remember. You don't have to look that up in the chart then. So all nitrate salts are soluble, so this is a soluble compound. Okay, so the last one we're going to take a look at is ammonium phosphate. Ammonium is a cation. The formula is NH4 with a positive charge. That's our only polyatomic ion with a positive charge. Phosphate is also a polyatomic ion. It has the formula PO4 with a 3 negative charge. So if I write the formula for that, I know that I'm going to need 3 ammonium cations to cancel the 1 phosphate anion. I'm going to put it in parentheses to keep it together. So the NH4 group, I need 3 of those to cancel the charge of the phosphate. Okay, taking a look in our chart, we're looking for that phosphate anion. And I see it down here in my insoluble organic compounds list, but then I see that there is an exception and that compounds that contain ammonium are soluble. So that means that this is a soluble compound. So make sure when you use this chart, not only are you checking to see if it's in the soluble or insoluble group, but then you're checking for the exceptions, and you understand the exception means that the opposite is true. So even though phosphate was down here in our insoluble group, ammonium makes it an exception, so it becomes a soluble compound. Something else to point out with this chart, there are a few compounds that are always soluble or always insoluble. So one of them that we talked about is the nitrate. There are no exceptions to nitrate, so anytime you see a nitrate compound, it will always be soluble. There are no exceptions for this group here, and I know this looks a little bit funny, but hopefully you recognize this as the acetate ion. Sometimes this is written as C2H3O2 negative. So no exceptions. Anytime you see acetate, that is going to be a soluble compound. And if you take a look, these three here are halogens. So your halogens, except for fluorine, are soluble compounds, and then you need to watch out for some of these exceptions. Make sure you're looking at the exceptions here. Taking a look at our insoluble compounds, something to notice here, look at the exceptions. Ammonium is always an exception. 
which means anytime you have the ammonium ion in a compound, that compound will be soluble. And anytime you have an alkali metal cation, that compound will be soluble. So nitrates, always soluble. Acetates, always soluble. Ammoniums, always soluble. And alkali metals, always soluble. Four things you can remember that you don't always have to look back at the solubility guideline.